student has been arrested for murder. Good evening, I'm Eric King. I'm Vicki Dorch. 18-year-old Kevin Grover is a senior and former member of the Clarksville High School football team. He was pulled from a classroom this afternoon and taken into custody by U.S. Marshals and Clarksville Police. Lauren Adams joins us live from the Clarksville Police Department with more on this. Lauren. Good evening to you, Eric. Well, the chief here at Clarksville PD tells me that Grover actually waived his extradition rights, and within just the past hour, he was booked at Metro Corrections. Now, Eric Vicky, as you might remember, there have been other arrests in this case, but U.S. Marshals say they recently see received information they say links Grover to the crime and provided information about his whereabouts. Now, and this, as you mentioned, is where police found Kevin Grover in class at Clarksville High School. Because he was considered a flight risk, police say the principal pulled him out of class this afternoon and brought him to the office where local police and marshals were waiting, talking to him briefly before leading him out of school in handcuffs. LMPD says Grover is one of four people tied to the May 29th murder of 19-year-old Ryan Higdon. Higdon was found shot several times in his car near the Greenwood Boat Docks in PRP. Police say it does not appear the victim knew the suspects and that they'd only met that day. Two days later, one person was arrested and Eric Vicky in recent weeks, two others have been charged. It's why arresting officers told me just a short time ago, Grover didn't at all seem surprised to see them this afternoon. It's almost like he uh, knew it was coming because uh, he cooperated, never caused a problem, which is uh, very unusual for with this type of warrant that goes down. And back here live tonight, Eric Vicky Grover, as we now know, has been charged with murder. He is expected to be arraigned in Louisville in the morning. That is the very latest tonight from Clarksville PD. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. Three others were also arrested and charged in connection to the case. Jalen Wells, Kamontre Davis, and Theodoric Hayes are behind bars at Metro Correction.